Hi everyone, I'm Tom Letty and I'm an Architect Evangelist at Salesforce. This video is part of our Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series. Now in our Diagram Anti-Patterns video, I made a big list of things that need to be fixed. And if you didn't already see that video, you might want to go check that out first and come back. But if you have seen the video, you might be wondering, what if I have a bunch of these anti-patterns in my own diagrams? Like, how should I prioritize fixing them? And how bad are they really? So in this video, I'm going to group the anti-patterns together and I'm going to illustrate their severity by taking a bite out of a hot pepper whose Scoville rating matches the severity of each group. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, we have floating text and non-standard shapes. These things are definitely not ideal, but if they're really the only anti-patterns in your entire diagram, it's pretty low risk. And that's because they probably won't completely prevent your audience from being able to interpret your diagram. So they're mostly just gonna make it a little bit more confusing. I would say these are banana pepper level anti-patterns. It's got a little bit of a kick, but it's not too terrible. All right, next up we have too much information in the diagram, no clear owner, and incorrect endpoints. These are much worse. Like your audience might still be able to read a diagram with these anti-patterns, but it's gonna be really hard. And there's a really good chance that they'll misinterpret something in your diagram too. So these are jalapeno level anti-patterns. This is rough. And it's pretty close to how someone's gonna feel if they try to read a diagram with the type of anti-patterns in this group. And finally, we have duplicate entities, no clear purpose for the diagram, and no clear audience. These are all extremely awful. In fact, a diagram with anti-patterns like this is just gonna be impossible to read, period. So these are habanero level anti-patterns. Oh. <coughs> okay, so if your diagrams do have a lot of anti-patterns, hopefully this video will help you prioritize the fixes for them. We have a lot of other great videos in this series, including some where we're gonna go a little bit deeper into how to actually fix some of these anti-patterns. So make sure to like and subscribe for more great content. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Now I need some water.